New at 10 tonight, we're talking to some local experts about how you can talk to your kids about tough subjects like death and grief. This after way too many children have unexpectedly died by violence or accidents in our area in recent weeks, including the death of a 10 year old Annabelle Mulliken, who died in a crash last week in Mountain Brook. Our Lauren Harkson is on your side tonight with what a local psychologist says is the best way to approach this conversation. Lauren. That's right, Catherine, Jonathan, whenever someone dies, it's of course a tragic situation, but as Dr. Joshua Claypo says, it can be especially tragic when it's a child and other children who may have been friends or even siblings with the person might have a difficult time wrapping their mind around it. Now, Dr. Claypo says before anything, make sure to take their age and development into consideration. One big thing to remember, it's not a one and done conversation. So Dr. Claypo says you don't have to put immense pressure on yourself. He says many times it can be just as simple as opening the door or beginning the conversation just to see what questions your child might have. Dr. Claypo says it's important not to assume their thoughts or their feelings. Instead, he says to meet your child where they're at. One of the easiest ways to do that is to talk about what happened and ask them what their thoughts are, how they feel. Rather than as an adult, a lot of times we want to try to explain it. And, and for a child, the same way that we can't often wrap our heads around the loss of a, of a child, a child's not going to be able to either. Now, Dr. Claypo says if your child doesn't seem to be impacted very much or they don't really want to talk about it, do not push them. He says just like adults process loss in different ways, chi uh, children do the exact same, and it's okay to just let that be. Catherine.